What's up, Technobo here for Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Ultimate Moderation. Ultimate Moderation is a simple plugin that lets you take complete control of your server with punishment templates through a simple and powerful GUI system. The Ultimate plugins install a little differently from the usual. Head over to the Songoda page for Ultimate Moderation. Click the download button right under the project's icon on the left. Head over to the file section on your server pro dashboard, open the plugins folder, then click the upload button and upload the jar that we just got from Songoda. Then all we need to do is a simple server restart. Note the plugin requires the vault plugin to already be installed. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the install tab under plugins. The plugin's main command is slash ultimate moderation or slash um for short. This will bring up the GUI. From here, we can use most of the plugin's features. We can use slash um help for a full list of commands in game at any time. We'll get back to this later. The GUI has a list of all players that have been on the server. Clicking the hopper, we can filter the list to only offline players or both online and offline. We can use the search to enter part of a username. I'll just enter CN, the middle characters of my name, TCNO. Searching, we see just us on the list. Clicking on a player, we have some options. Tickets and punishments show the player's open or closed tickets as well as active and historic punishments a player has received. Notes lets us leave a note for the player for the next admin to see, useful for keeping track of players. Heading back to the main menu, we have a tickets button on the bottom right. Clicking this shows every ticket, open or closed, for every player. Opening a player's GUI first shows us tickets that only relate to that player. Heading back to the player's ticket list, we can click the redstone to create a new ticket for ourselves, or we could use slash ticket like a normal player would. Then, after entering a subject, such as ESP, we choose a category. In this case, it would be a player report. Then we're asked to enter text in chat, which will be the first ticket message. I'll enter, say, I saw Stephen Mining straight to diamonds, cheating. Admins can open this ticket by using slash um, then visiting either the player, then tickets, or just the tickets screen. Once open, admins can close the ticket, respond to the ticket with their own message, or teleport to the location the ticket was created. I'll respond with where, for example. Each message now shows up in order in the list over here. Super useful to keep track of open tickets. Players use slash ticket to get back to this list and respond or check on the status of previous tickets. After finishing, we close the ticket, checking the tickets list, it appears under closed. Now that we've dealt with the ticket, let's create a punishment template before using it. Slash um, templates, create. In here, we have some options. While we can use these directly on a player, owners can set templates for bands to make moderation faster. First, we select a punishment type with the anvil. I'll use kick. The paper lets us set a name for the template. I'll call it test kick. The clock sets a duration if applicable, and the reason lets us enter some text. I'll enter deserved, for example. Clicking the emerald block, we now save the template. Then clicking a player, we can choose punish, then select from our templates list, or we can simply enter the details ourselves, as we just did in the template screen. Clicking the green block, the punishment is applied. As you can see, I just kicked myself on the server, and now we see the reason we entered earlier. Heading back to the GUI, then our player head, and then punishments, we see a list of previously used punishments. Let's go back and select someone else. Here, we also have a moderate button. This lets us do some interesting things. We can click any of these items to freeze the player, spy on the player, which makes you invisible and places you above their head to see everywhere they go. There's an NFC option, which lets you see and interact with their inventory. The view ender chest button is self-explanatory. It lets you interact with their ender chest. And finally, the revive option lets you respawn the player if they were unfairly finished, for example. We can run most of these commands from the command line. We can use slash um help again to see the commands. We'll quickly run through these. Slash vanish hides you. Yes, they can see these bats and particle effects. Run template, player template runs a punishment template on a player. We can run them manually with slash mute, ban, and kick followed by a player's name, length if applicable, and reason. We can undo them with slash unban or unmute followed by a name. Slash spy, NFC, view ender chest, or Revive, followed by a player name, lets you run these targeted commands on said player. Slash Freeze, Vanish, and Slash Toggle Chat are toggles. 
Freeze targets a player and Vanish targets the person running it. Toggle Chat targets the entire server and completely disables the sending of new messages. Slash Random Player teleports you to a random player on the server. Slash Clear Chat clears the chat window for every player on the server immediately. Slash Slow Mode followed by a number of seconds puts the server chat in slow mode. Slash Slow Mode followed by nothing toggles it off. Slash SC Channel places all of your messages in an admin only chat. Use Slash SC Leave to leave this exclusive channel. Slash UM Settings opens the plugin's setting GY. As with these ultimate plugins, almost everything is easily customizable through the in-game GUI. We have books, which are different files, and once a file is opened, we see the different sections, and inside each section, we have a few settings and toggles. Simply clicking on these settings either toggles them or asks for your input in the text chat. Because there are a lot of settings in here, I'll be going through what each of these do in the next section, where we edit the config through the plugin's files directly. When we do that, we use slash UM reload to reload the plugin settings from the config. Locate the config in the plugin folder. In the ultimate moderation folder, we have a DB file that contains past punishments and more. The plugin uses this file, but we can set up a MySQL server instead in the config. The locales folder contains different language files that are just plain text. These allow for localization of the plugin. The config.myml file contains all of the settings. These are what we saw in-game. As with all Ultimate plugins, it's incredibly well documented, where each setting has an explanation above it. The file is divided into sections, Main on Line 1, Interfaces on 55, System on 63, and MySQL Settings on Line 69. We can change true-false toggles like whether vanishing shows particles and makes a sound. And then the following setting lets us enter a sound tag for one to be played. Blocked commands stops players running specific commands in-game. The list under Ticket Types on Line 35 lets us add more ticket categories for the in-game GUI. Notify Blocks list notifies admins whenever a specific block is broken by any player. The blocks listed under Interfaces are just blocks that surround the GUI. We can customize those here. Language Mode under System lets us change the plugin's language. This is set to one of the file names from inside the Lang folder. The MySQL section lets us input MySQL server details if we'd like to use one instead of the DB file in the server's directory. Server Pro provides you with a MySQL database on our Pro plans. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!